I'm Joel Lopez in Palm Beach County, where a local veterinarian says he's seen a surge in calls for heat stroke. Good girl, good girl. It's the dog days of summer. Come on, come on. These summers are getting hotter and hotter each year. Come for on. Scott Irwin and Hank the Beagle. Oh yeah, when his tongue's hanging out, I know he's hot. The heat. He's an outdoor dog. He'll stay out there as long as you'll let him out there. Has forced Hank to get less time outdoors. <laughs> With a rise in temperatures. We have told people be very, very careful out there. So have emergency calls at Atlantana Atlantis Animal Hospital. Unfortunately, most of them are emergencies. And once we have a full blown heat stroke, um, the mortality rate is very high and it's around about 50%. Dr. Kadish says he's seen double the number of calls for heat stroke than last year. What dog breeds are really most susceptible to heat stroke? Well, if you're having a look, it's the brachycephalic dog breeds, like the bulldog over here, the Chinese Sharp Pays, the French Bulldog, which is very popular at the moment. They've also treated dogs with medical burns after being walked on hot pavement. If it is too hot for you to put your hand on for more than a couple of seconds, it is definitely too hot for your dog to walk on it. He suggests limiting outdoors time and to make sure your pet is hydrated. And if they're excessively panting or appear disoriented, to call your vet immediately. Dr. Cater says that even if your dog does survive a heat stroke, it could leave a long lasting impact on its health. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Joel Lopez, WPTV News Channel.